guitar armrests and why you'd need one. Originally, I'd planned this video as a review video, but I decided to do it as an about video because so few guitarists know about armrests and yet several guitarists I spoke to really need one. And the armrest I was going to review is this one and I originally found it through eBay but then I found the website which is www.albaguitarbeads.com and I actually know this company because a few years back I did a review of the guitar beads and I'll have to do an update of that review because they've introduced a lot more models in a lot more materials but that's for another video Right, let's unbox the Alba Guitar Beads armrest so we can take a look at it. The armrest comes in a black box with just the domain name printed on the lid. Inside the box are various bits and pieces and the armrest itself is wrapped up in soft tissue paper, I guess to prevent it from scratching. Here's the contents of the box laid out, and there's the armrest, a card with some explanation on the back, two suction cups, two protective cork pads, and protective stick-on film, which I'm not 100% sure, but I think might be intended to be stuck underneath the armrest to make sure your guitar is 100% protected from any potential damage. I know that the guitar I intend to use this armrest with is a flamenco guitar and already has this type of film stuck on it as golpeadores. For those of you who aren't familiar with golpeadores, they're to protect your guitar from hitting and tapping and scratching whilst you're strumming the guitar or even changing the strings. This guitar had the protective film pre-fitted when I bought it and you can just about see it when you get the angle right. Just as a note, there's no reason you can't use the protective film on any guitar that you love, just to make sure it stays in good condition. Right, let's take a look on the card before I put the armrest on the guitar. The front of the card gives the usual warnings, as well as the name of the company, and the fact that they've got a Facebook, Instagram and YouTube account. The back of the card gives a lot more detail about the armrest, which I'm not going to read through it all, but you could pause the video here and read it for yourself if you wanted to. I will read out one passage because it's something I thought was interesting and I hadn't thought of, and that's this. You might notice an increase in the guitar's volume and projection as the armrest minimises the damping of the top caused by the forearm. And this makes complete sense. You might remember Dionisio Aguado, who was one of the great composers of the Romantic period. He invented the tripodium so he could keep contact with the guitar to an absolute minimum to boost its tone and volume. And you might also remember that we did a very simple test that proved that the pressure of the forearm on the top of the guitar reduces the volume and projection. And this very simple test you can do at home. Right, let's take a closer look at the armrest and we'll put it together so it's ready to go on the guitar. The first thing I need to point out is that even though the front of it really looks like wood, and it really does look like wood even here in person, it isn't. On the back of the card, it said it's PC material. Uh, if anybody knows what that is, leave a comment down below because I don't know what it is. But it's kind of a plastic. And looking at it from the front, you really can't tell it's not wood. Right, the first thing I'll do is to put the suction cups into place that hold it to the guitar. You can see that the armrest picks up on fingerprints but I'll just have to give it a polish once I've got it on the guitar. 
so it'll get a natural polishing when I'm using it. They're quite a tight fit and a little bit awkward to get into place, but I wouldn't want it any other way, otherwise your armrest will keep falling off the guitar. The next thing I need to do is put the little cork protection pads into place. If you look carefully at the cork strips, or if you bend them, you can see there's actually two on each pad. So you've actually got four cork strips, so you've got a couple of spares. And I had to go to the website to know exactly where to fit them. And I've copied exactly what they've done on the website. And the great thing with these is, if you don't press them down too hard, you can move them about to get them exactly where you want them. And once you've got the protective cork in place, you're ready to go. You can put the armrest on the guitar. To fit the armrest on the guitar, you simply place it on top of the guitar and slide it around until you think you've got it in the right position and then put some pressure over the suction pads so they grip to the guitar and you're ready to go. One of the advantages of the armrest being held on with suction cups is that you can pull it off and reposition it as many times as you want so you can get it in the perfect place for your style of playing. And this is actually one of the attractions of this particular armrest. If you have several guitars, you can use the one armrest between several guitars. Just pull it off one guitar and put it on another one. Of course, you can remove it as many times as you want. I use an armrest on this guitar all the time, but until I found this armrest, I've been using a stick on one, which actually really worried me because I really like this guitar. And because it was handmade in Spain, not all are going to be identical. This is the thing about handmade instruments, they're all slightly different. And I really like this one, so I don't want any damage to occur to it. And this means that an armrest that's been stuck on will eventually damage the varnish. And in fact, when I removed the old armrest, to avoid damaging the guitar, I had to break the armrest into three pieces to get it off. However, I'm really happy to say that the guitar finish wasn't damaged in any way. As you can tell, because I've got the armrest already stuck on this guitar, I've been using armrests for many years. And I had an armrest on this guitar and on both my Yamaha SLG guitars. However, on my steel strung guitar, the one I use mostly, it's actually more or less got an armrest built into it because it's a Comfort Series guitar by Washburn. The guitar I use in my teaching videos is an old James Nelligan. And the reason I use this guitar is because it's got good clear fret markers. So people wanting to learn what I'm playing can see clearly what fret I'm in. And the great thing about this armrest is it'll pop off my nylon strung guitar and it'll pop onto this steel strung guitar. So even though they've marketed this towards nylon strung guitars and classical players, there's no reason at all why you can't use this armrest on a steel strung guitar. And for a guitar with a large body like a dreadnought or a jumbo, it could make it a lot more comfy to play. My subscribers and viewers will know that I don't talk about my own guitars and that's because you can get so obsessed with the equipment you never learn to play. It's more important to practice than to keep looking for the next guitar. But I brought my guitars up in this video just to demonstrate I use armrests all the time. And as I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't a review, it's just introducing the idea of armrests. But this particular armrest I think is particularly good because it keeps it off the body to allow the guitar to resonate and it can be used on several guitars without damaging the finish on any of them.
Anywho, that's it for this video because I want to get back to making the next guitar lesson. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see the guitar lessons, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I upload new lessons. And if you want to learn to play fingerstyle guitar, visit www.ebooksforguitar.com and you can get the free PDF ebooks there on fingerstyle guitar, which accompany the lessons that I've got here on YouTube. Again, thank you very much for watching, and thanks for all my regular watchers. Without you, the channel wouldn't survive, genuinely. So, thank you very much.